for a second maybe I'll be able to nap a little bit before yoga today today is day three no day two <laughs> what is time right today is day two yesterday was the f official first day so so much healing already crazy I didn't do my bed this morning, but I did take a shower, and now it's time for yoga. It's going to start in about three minutes, so I got My go. hair's air drying. I love that yoga is before the sunrise, because it's dark. Time for some yoga, yoga. What do I need? A sweater, because it's cold in the other room. started. Well, I didn't ball my eyes out today, but it was beautiful. It's been snowing a lot. I, I want to show you guys the view of that room. It just, it was such stillness and so beautiful. We did a lot of heart opening heart chakra opening exercises, which I really was craving this morning. I was like, I hope we do. And my breathing changed. Just breathing life, breathing through my body is something that I, um, it's a huge awareness of the importance of it. And just how much better I feel breathing. So I think it's, as a mom, I tend to hold my breath a lot and just not really open up my heart as much, you know, even from breastfeeding, like, and just, I don't know, it just feels really good to be like, oh, oh. Um, but yeah, it's breakfast time, my hair. <laughs> Um, quite short, yes. I like it. Air dried. I think I'm gonna do my bed though, because it just feels better that way. Just something that I wanted to share really quick. Today I woke up feeling so beautiful and just really wanting to discover and get to know myself more. Kind of like when you meet someone, right, for the first time that you want to get to know and you just study everything about them. You fall in love with every little detail, the way they, their eyes sparkle, the way they smile, the way they light up when they're passionate about something. I want to do that for my, to myself, about myself. I want to be my own friend. I want to be love, be my own love, wrapped up in my own love. 
that I project onto others. I want to project it to me, too. I want to fall in love with myself even more. Even more. I do this in my relationships, in my marriage. But how crazy is it that I don't do that for myself? What a realization, right? My heart feels so open. And I feel really bright. And I like what I see. I like what I feel within myself. My bet is done. I hung up all the clothes. Everything's nice and tidy and organized. I don't know if I shared with you guys that. Um, look at that. But this morning when I woke up, um, I just journaled so much. I journaled and journaled and journaled, and the pen just kept wanting to go. I think it started here, Thursday, Friday, and then this is the start of today. But anyway, how beautiful. And I have to tell you guys that I haven't really enjoyed snow. I saw it as a, I don't really, I like being outside, I like being active, but there's such a stillness and peace about me right now that I can sit here and appreciate it and love it and see the real beauty in this snow. When we were driving up, seeing all the snow when I was feeling resistant, um, like the first day on Thursday. Seeing the snow, I was starting to feel like, no, what am I doing? You know, just resistance. I don't even like snow. And here I am today, appreciating the immense beauty. first portion of class or at least we got a 15 minute break so I came back to my room I need to go to the bathroom but I'll go in a little bit already so powerful man the amount of insights jam-packed in these few days is pretty wild I'm trusting my sensitivity and accepting it especially my feeling gift because I can feel a lot and I'm starting to feel comfortable with myself, with it. It's powerful, strong. Where you move, make me blind It will always be there There's no doubt in my mind You will always be there Um, the morning session is over, morning class. I am getting ready to go to lunch and then we have free time. 
some people are going hiking, some people are gonna go um, to, into town to the lake, which I did yesterday, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, and other people are gonna paint and do this like um, Native American thing. <sighs> I need to check with my spirit guides to see what I wanna do. I'm in between both, like hiking sounds really cool because I like to go outside, but I also wanna paint, so. Wow, a huge piece of snow fell. That's a lot of snow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway, um, class was really powerful today. Um, crazy, intense, powerful. I was really seeing resistance and I definitely cried a lot. <laughs> but right now I feel good. Unstoppable. Unlimited. Free. Perfect. <laughs> I do see you. Um, that's a good spot. Linda, move a little bit this way. There. And then I do see you. Hi everyone, this is Alma from the future here. I just wanted to freeze the frame and tell you a little bit about who you are about to meet. She is my spiritual mentor and friend and she is just an amazing, amazing soul. Her channel here on YouTube is called Communicate with Angels and she also has a website, communicatewithangels.com if you want to check her out. But to not put it in so many words because I really could go on and on all day um, because I love her dearly, she just adds so much value to my life by just being herself and I'm very grateful for her. And um, she is one of the four co-facilitators for this retreat. Um, they just, I mean, I'm amazed. This space for all of us to heal, learn, and grow has been amazing. And I'm, I'm very grateful for all of them. Thank you for manifesting this and get back to meeting her. Bye. Hi. Guys, we're here in Colorado. Like, this is Melissa, ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the yeah. snow and we're having a great time. This is one of the most spiritual things you can do, right? Get out in yes. nature, be free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool. Well, I'm glad everybody got to see her and meet her. Hi, hi guys. Oh, Come you. with us next time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll be hearing all about it. <laughs> But this is so magnificent in person. I don't know if it translates into video. We found a river. I'm seeing glimpses of auras against this white snow. It's 
So, yeah, definitely something. Some experience, I'll tell ya. I just can't get over that view. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, something like this. It's kind of like the snow play of my dreams. The snow, that, you know, the kind of play I always wish I could have in the snow. And I did play in the snow, but not like this. Look at that guy. In my video, just a quick hello. Catch your breath long enough to say something. It's right here. Yes. This is Susan, one of the co-facilitators of the retreat. I've been videoing the whole thing ah, in my really experience. Wonderful. So I well, just wanted to manifesting one of our dreams. Manifesting one of our dreams. Beautiful. Colorado wilderness. Yes. <laughs> it's hard to catch your breath, but oh it's hard to talk, but the wisdom from this woman. She talks and I'm like, it takes one to know one. Aww. Here we go. That's so sweet. I was gonna say my ears get bigger. No age. <laughs> what I see in you, I see in me, or yep, right something on. like that. That's cool. Hello. Hello, this Hi. is another. We're one in the, the Rocky Mountain National Park. Manifesting. <laughs> Manifesting wonderful trails. <laughs> That we didn't know existed. <laughs> Making our own way. That's right. Paving and we just the way. Finished, and now we're gonna go back to class. And... <laughs> Bye. Done. We are getting ready to do a fire ceremony. So I'm trying to get bundled up because my sneakers are wet from the snow earlier, and it's really cold outside. So I'm trying to decide. I'm gonna wear these guys, but they're kind of slippery. I think I don't know what to expect for it. So I'm just gonna go with the blue. I think it'll be good. Oh, oh the firelight. Love it. I do. Can we yeah. crank it up or no? <laughs> crank it up. <laughs> do it. Our ceremony's over. I can't see anything in the video. Hi guys. We were having a dance party a little bit ago and I'm so tired. Thanks, probably because I've been up since um, three in the morning. <laughs> I was just talking to my husband. He's ready for me to come back. And tomorrow is the last day. I mean, I go back tomorrow. Um, the um, retreat ends at four. And my flight is at one in the morning, but I think I'm going to get a ride with one of the girls. <sighs> anyway, um, we were dancing so much, I'm tired, and my breath, not my breath, my breathing. <sighs> it's hard. I think it has to do with the altitude. <laughs> I'm also super tired. I regrouped a little bit earlier, but I'll probably journal in the morning because, yeah, I'm beat. I am beat. I probably danced for a while. Anyway, good night, and I will see you.